Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, welcome. Praise God. Um, I'm so grateful for uh, the new um, visitors who come by and check out the channel. And praise God if you decide you like what you see and you want to stay and, and subscribe. And also, what a blessing um, you all uh, are to me that have subscribed and have uh, toughed it out with me and laughed and cried and prayed with me and fellowshiped with me um, all this time so I, I got I thank God for all of you and I feel it is a deep blessing that we are together at this time and that we are a witness to God's glory together so amen um, this is quick I got actually a beautiful word from the Lord and inspiration and message um, that I want to share with you and as you see the image um, in the twinkling of an eye okay so let's get to it okay um, just to give you a little of the um, concept I was going through and cleaning um, and I saw this book and I purchased this book years ago I want to say maybe five years ago um, he's a Christian writer and um, I do believe that his intention is to tell us a story because it's a fictional story as well as inform us of the dangers of the world and you know to open our eyes um, I have to say I believe because I didn't get past 20 page 23 <laughs> I've tried to open the book and sit down and read and either I got busy or um, distracted or something happened but I haven't really gotten very far with the book and uh, sometimes we think we have an idea like I think I thought at the time I was supposed to read the book but sometimes when things are really hard to do it's not what God really wants us to do or it's not a part of the plan so I had to go back to the the title name okay so while I was cleaning I picked up this book and I'm thinking you know all the things I just shared with you about only making the page 23 and I haven't sat down to read it and I looked at it and it said one second after and I heard in my soul I heard in my in, in me I felt um, this almost a sadness and I felt one second after I pray I am not here one second after my mind went right there. I went, I pray, and I just felt the sadness. Like, I don't want to be here one second after whatever. And in the book, it's an EMP. So if it's an EMP, I don't want to be here one second after. I don't want to know what happens here. I pray that I'm found worthy to ascend, to be snatched up, to be taken away. And, and I went straight to Bible scripture. And here in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52, King James Version, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be rised, raised, excuse me, corrupt, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And I really looked into this and I said, yes, in that one second after, I pray, I'm in heaven. I pray my eyes are opened and I'm looking into heaven. And not still here on earth, figuring out what happened and what's going on if I am still here then that's a part of God's plan and amen but if I can pray I'm gonna pray for this I'm gonna pray that the dead will be risen first and I will meet them in the air amen as the Bible the true Bible told me and so that was what it was like I just I it was so when I saw the book I just felt this sadness like no I, I don't want to be here one second after. I don't even know. Maybe that's why I couldn't get past it because I didn't even want to um, 
introduce ideas and think about the idea of still being here. But if we are still here, then that's a part of God's plan and I will occupy as we are also told. But if if it's our time to be snatched away, oh, I pray that I am found worthy. Um, okay, this is um, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18, New King James Version. Um, I want to read this to you because I thought it was also beautiful. It's the same idea as 1 Corinthians, but more detail as to the process. And that's what I thought was beautiful for um, us who have questions or for um, Christians who aren't sure of what is to come. I thought this was a beautiful kind of introduction, um, kind of simplifying and, and giving us a better understanding. Okay, so um, uh, let's see, so 13. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. 15. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. Amen. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. Praise God. So I wanted to bring you this comfort today. When I thought about that one second after, it was like I was being separated from God and that that was a sadness to me. I didn't want to stay and I, I want to have my eyes open and ready for the Lord. And when he calls me up after he calls the, the ones that are asleep, I want to be ready to go. I want to be I want to have everything done that needs to be done. Repent and and accept the son's sacrifice and believe that the Bible is true and to to shed my worldly ways. I want to be ready. I want to be baptized. I want all these things. I want you all to have these things. I want when God looks upon us, when that time comes, we are ready. Because he is going to send his son with a shout. Amen. So beautiful. I just, I just, this came over me and I've been praying over it a couple of days. And I, I felt it was, excuse me, time to share this with you. God loves you. And so do I. And may God bless you all and keep you all. And I do believe Jesus is on the horizon. And we are one second away from our salvation. We're so close. And I pray our eyes open in heaven together. Amen. Take care and may God bless you all.